Hello there, Harris County. This is Paul Winsky with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, your horticulture agent. And it is Sunday, a week after we had our cold spell, or our frigid spell, or just our nasty winter weather that we had. As you can see behind me, my citrus tree has taken a hit. And so what we're gonna do today is just talk about a few of the plants and what you should be doing as we go forward. Uh, the first thing is don't panic. Um, these plants are quite resilient. They're gonna come back. They don't look very good right now. Uh, as you can see, it looks like maybe a flamethrower was taken to this plant. Um, but as you look inside the interior of the plant, you can see some of that foliage looks much better. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a cutting on one of these just to show you what it looks like. What you wanna look for are the buds. Um, and you can see there's still green growth down in through here. So if I slice this, okay, see that's all green growth. Um, this stem is not dead. So the foliage may not look too happy and that's fine uh, and that's expected. But when you take a strip like that and you see nice green wood there, this plant's gonna come back. So it's not that big of an issue. Uh, let me cut one of these other stems here. This one, the foliage looks a little bit rougher on it, but I can tell you already, just from that cut end, um, it's nice and green. And I'm gonna slice this again also. And look at that, nice green wood. So just be patient, uh, don't fret, and, and uh, the plant's gonna come back and be a little bit more resilient. Now let's take a look down here. This is my crinum. This is Ellen Boson K. Uh, and this is a mess. Uh, this is what we don't like to see. Uh, we look down in through here and this is just, you can feel the heat coming off of this, but we just got a gooey, ooey mess. Um, the older leaves are dead. Uh, we've got some new growth in here. The good thing about these bulbs are this bulb just gets bigger and goes deeper and deeper throughout the growing season. So I'm not concerned about this plant backing up or coming back in the spring. Here we can see the stem on it. Um, so what, what I will eventually do, this is quite mushy in through here. So what we'll do is I'll give it another week or so and then I'll just come through and clean this up. We'll get this out because a lot of times with these uh, plants that have this, you know, succulent thick foliage, um, there's always a chance that other diseases can get into it. And that's what we want to avoid. We don't want that to be a problem. So you can see this, this has taken quite a hit, but it's expected. Um, and this will bounce back. I'm, I'm not really concerned about it. Now these three, uh, these are all penicetums. And these are our Texas superstars. And they're the annual penicetum. It's, it's a different species. Um, this overwintered for me for two years, but I'm not expecting this to make it back. And, and that's fine um, because you know what? Sometimes you get tired of plants. You, make, you might want to make some changes to your landscape. And you know, Mother Nature just probably helped you out by saying, hey, let's get that plant out of the way. Let's put something new in and we can start over. Now here's one of the perennials in the garden. This is uh, Salvia Indigo Spires Improved. This again, is, this is one of the uh, Texas superstars. And you can see this plant has taken quite the hit. Um, it's dried uh, and, I, and I know these plant, this, this isn't gonna make it. You can see how dry that is. It, it actually still has some green tissue in there. Uh, we slice that through. It's got a little bit, um, but this plant would end up needing a haircut now anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I would wait, I'm going to wait a couple weeks on it, wait until the temperatures moderate, and then I'll just give this a haircut. And basically something like this, I'm just going to cut it back because I want a little bit of protection in there, just in case we happen to do get uh, any additional cold weather. Uh, but this is going to come back from the base. This plant has been in the ground for about two years. Um, and it will be fine um, and, and come the springtime we'll get a nice flush the bees and the pollinators will like it here's a perennial over here this is nymphophia or red hot poker and and we can see here this foliage is fine 
it grows from the base you can even see some nice new growth down in through there so um, I'm not going to do anything to it at this point we'll wait till the temperatures moderate the other thing is with the temperatures not just the air temperatures but those soil temperatures are going to moderate also and so as those soil temperatures warm up uh, those root systems will wake up uh, and the plant will be fine and it'll come back uh, for the spring any of the annuals that you had uh, some of these are annuals these were uh, vincus things like that and i just left them in just to see how long they would go um, and they're absolutely this is going to be dead this will come out not a problem um, and we'll put some fresh color in there now here is my rangoon creeper my quisqualis indica this is one of my favorite plants and this guy it is a tropical i did not expect it to come through on this on this uh, uh with this event uh, and you can see how dry it is it's brittle the stems are breaking i don't need uh, uh, the clippers to cut it and, and that's fine um, and this hasn't probably been frozen back or, or toasted in a while at least two to three years so uh, what i'm going to do is since this is a summer bloomer uh, I'm going to wait until uh, probably two, three weeks, but I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to cut it down to probably about this tall um, and it's going to come back from the roots. So we're going to want it to come from those roots. It will flush. And once the summer comes, the, the, the nice warm temperatures, um, this plant will be back up uh, growing as it normally had. But right now, uh, it does not look happy uh, you can see and you're probably seeing this in your landscape so um, go out assess the situation and um, you know give your plants some time all right now here we're on the north north side of the house so this side got colder uh, and we had some other issues on it um, doesn't get a lot of sun um, but you can see it's taken its hit but this is fine uh, this is one of the perennial ones so in about another two weeks, we'll take this, I'll, I'll bunch it up like this, and about eight to 12 inches or so, we'll cut this back, and we'll get a new flush come the spring. So um, this penicetum will be fine. It's a nice, healthy plant. It's got that look now that a lot of plants have with the, the, the tan, the beige. Um, not real happy, but it will be fine come to spring now over here this is a budlia now this budlia is on the northwest corner of the house so probably the coldest spot of the house and you can see the damage on it um, but even if I scratch in through here okay you can see there's green tissue in there and that's fine it's not snapping um, it's 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 looking really actually quite healthy and there's probably buds down in here uh, that we can't see right now that will end up developing. So seeing the green tissue is great. Uh, that's, a, that's an excellent sign that the plant's going to be fine. Again, this one I will probably cut back to about here. I'll, I'll give it a hard cut, uh, probably about a foot tall. And then that plant will come back and flush from the base and from the root system. All right, our last two plants that we're gonna look at in the yard here, this is a plumbago. Again, you can see how that foliage is just, and, and, and plumbagos are a tropical type plant. Uh, so we don't expect this to do well, but even if you scratch that stem, just using your fingernail, you can see there's green tissue in there. And that's what we wanna see. Uh, you can see these buds started to break. So, um, you know, those buds are gone. Um, but through the summer, there's a plenty of time for this plant to come back um, and reestablish itself. So I'm not concerned about that. And then over here, this is the Duranta. Uh, and you can see it's had quite a bit of growth the past few years. Uh, the butterflies love this. The pollinators love this. It gets that purple flower. It's got a slight fragrance to it. But you can see this guy is not happy. Um, a lot of this tissue is brown and dried. It's snapping. Um, but you can see there's still a little bit of green in there. So overall, uh, we'll give this guy a couple more weeks, uh, probably about the middle of March. We'll cut that back. Again, this one will get a, a pretty hard cut. 
So probably about a foot or so off of the ground. We'll cut that. Um, if there's any dead wood, we'll remove it. And then over time, we'll get new shoots, we'll get new buds. And come June, July, August, this plant will be back up and flowering again. Okay, so I took you around my yard, showed you some of the damage that I had. Uh, and the main thing I want to stress to you is, is give, your, plant, give your, your plants and your garden some time. Um, you're going to see that even some of these plants that look rough, and they're going to look rough now, um, but there's green wood under there. There's um, buds that will be coming. Um, so just be patient. Um, we're here to help. If you have any questions, please contact the office. Uh, you can go to the Harris County AgriLife website. There's a tab there where you can ask the horticulture agent. You can also post questions to ask a master gardener at the master gardener site. So we're here to help. Uh, we know uh, you're probably not happy with the way your plants are looking now, but just be patient. Um, they're gonna come back. They're more resilient than you um, probably even thought about. So. With your horticulture information and your tips, I'm Paul Winsky with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. Keep gardening, Harris County, because it's going to be a fun spring.